Havana, Cuba. In a display of maritime might and diplomatic outreach, the Russian frigate Gorshkovo and its decks to hundreds of Cubans and tourists in Havana yesterday. The warship, known for its recent military maneuvers in the Atlantic, became a center of attraction as people from various nationalities queued up for a rare opportunity to explore the vessel. The Gorshkov, part of Russia's formidable war fleet, docked in the Bay of Havana to the excitement of locals and visitors alike. This event marks a continuation of the historically friendly relations between Cuba and Russia, with the Cuban government facilitating this unique interaction. As early morning hues painted the sky, the Russian vessels made a grand entrance into Havana Bay, accompanied by smaller support ships and greeted with a ceremonial 21-gun salute. The visit, described as unofficial by Russia's defense minister, allows the crew to take a well-deserved rest and offers them a chance to engage with Cuban culture and its famed local attractions. The presence of Russian warships in Cuban waters has been a subject of international attention. However, both U.S. and Cuban officials have stated that these visits pose no threat emphasizing their peaceful nature and cultural exchange aspects. The frigate's open day is just one example of Cuba's ongoing engagement with foreign military powers, showcasing its strategic position and openness to international cooperation. As visitors lined up, they were greeted by the sight of the Cuban military ensuring order at the crowded entrance. This event not only strengthens Cuba-Russia ties, but also highlights Cuba's role as a host to international naval powers, reflecting its significance in global maritime diplomacy. For those who witnessed this spectacle, it was more than just a tour, it was an affirmation of Cuba's place on the world stage and its enduring relationship with Russia.